Hello there, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Let me turn on this light just so we can get a little bit of, a little bit of better lighting up in this business, right? So here we are, and today, uh, as you read, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect these bad boys. These are the Beats X. They uh, at Walmart. They retail at like 120, 119, somewhere around there, and they're a good pair of earbuds. Sorry, trying to focus the ca the camera. They're good pair of ear earbuds. They're supposed to last you about eight hours, and they're just like any other Beats uh, headset. I guess they 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 offer a lot of bass, right? So I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and connect this uh, <laughs> pair of Beats X cables to an iPhone. Now this iPhone that I have right here is an iPhone SE. Uh, came out back in 2006, and I'm, it's basically the same process for every iPhone except for the iPhone 4S for the fact that I have not tried to pair one to that one, but I've tried to connect this to, try to connect those to an iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, and an iPhone 7, an iPhone 6S Plus, and an iPhone, like every iPhone I've basically tried to go ahead and connect it to, but basically, and uh, let's, let's get down to the business, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to open this, this iPhone right here. There we go. And we're going to go down to, you can either go to your settings, show you how to do it. You go to your settings, you scroll all the way to the top, and you're going to go down to a thing called Bluetooth. Let's go ahead and let's zoom in a little bit. See if I can't find that with that. There it is. It was at the very top. So you're going to click Bluetooth, and you're going to turn it on. And there you go. And it says that I have two other things, that I had two other things that were connected to this. But if you want to, you can go ahead. And if you want to just do this a little bit quicker, you can go to your home screen or any screen, depending on whether or not you have the setting turned on on your iPhone. You can go ahead and you can swipe up. And right here, it'll have the Bluetooth thing on. And then the AirDrop will turn on, right? So right there, you're basically done with step one. You're going to turn off, turn on you're going to turn on the phone's Bluetooth. Next, go ahead and lay that down. And it actually has a privacy screen. That's why it'll it'll look like that. But then when you look at it directly, it will go ahead and shine bright like a diamond. And here we have the, the Beats X. Now, Beats X, not to give basically a review, it's an Apple product now. So you need the same lightning cord that you would need for an iPhone. So it's, it's really smart to have both of these. If you're somebody that drives a lot and you need sort of a Bluetooth headset, this is a very good uh, headset to have for the fact that it's a very lightweight type thing and it's super nice and comfortable. Um, you don't even need it. Like these come off and stuff like that. So a whole ton of features, but we're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and see basically whenever the cable has, let me focus, focus, there we go. So as you can see, the Beats cable has a little button right here that you can go ahead and you can click, right? So Let's go ahead. Let's just turn it on. Uh, you hold it down for about two seconds, and right there, the the Beats cable, not the Beats cable, the the Beats X is just turned on. It's just it's on right now. So sometimes, depending on whether or not you've already paired the device, you can go ahead and you can just from there you're good to go. Sometimes it doesn't do it. So right here, from the looks of it, it's not doing it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to the settings, and we're just gonna check real quick and let me see there they are so that it says right here that that my beats x cables are connected but if you want to we can go ahead and we can just we're over here i'm gonna turn them off right that means they're off when that little light is off that that button is representing the beats x earbuds are off so you're gonna go ahead you're just gonna hold them down and the light should start flashing kind of like that you see how they're sort of illuminating sorry the camera isn't really focusing but you see how it's yeah it's blinking so right here on your phone it should show you a little uh notification that says beats x and then connect sorry if the camera's over here getting all shaky wakey but you go ahead and you can connect right and from there it'll tell you how much battery life if you connect this to an iphone um, it'll tell you how much battery life the uh, the Beats X have, and basically from there on, you're good to go. They're connected. Um, I'm pretty sure Hey Siri and a bunch of other features will go ahead and they will work on the Beats X cable for the fact that they also have a full control 
uh, system right here to where if you press these two buttons are for the volume, this is to pause the music, this is to skip a song, this is to go back a song, this is to answer and um, uh, what's it called, uh, hang up a phone call and a bunch of other features. Personally, I think they're really, really nice. I got them as a graduation present for my graduation out of high school. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little video as to how to pair them together. And hopefully that will help you guys. Um, everything should work from here. It, just to, I guess, prove that they're working. We're going to go ahead. Let's, and see if you can hear it. So yeah, they should be working. Sorry for that little like weird scene of just looking at a microphone and cables. But yeah, they work. You can go ahead and we're, we're looking at the screen. And right here, we're going to look at this right here. And let's go ahead and lower, let's lower the volume. Okay then. And devices available, more devices. And there we go. So from there, connected. And they're going ahead and they're playing. So from here, let me see if I, does this help? Nope, not really, because of the privacy screen. So right here, you can have the remote. You can go ahead. You can skip the song. Um, the Beats X cables have built-in uh, volume, so it doesn't necessarily, I think it doesn't necessarily mess with the, uh, the iPhones, uh, what's called volume, but you can go ahead and you can up the volume, you can lower the volume. Oh, there it is. You can lower the volume, you can up the volume, you can go ahead and do things like that. If you hold down the button, I'm pretty sure Siri pops up. Yeah, Siri, hello, Siri. <laughs> but yeah, you can ho go ahead and do that. If you get into a phone call, you click it once, it answers the phone call, you can pause, you can uh, start the music, everything like that. So hopefully that uh, will help a few of you guys connecting your cable. Um, one thing, if this little light ends up not turning on, period, it's simply for the fact that your cable, or not your cable, your Beats X uh, earbuds are just dry. They, they need to be charged. So go ahead and charge them. If you want to, you can just shut them down by holding the button for two seconds. One, two. And there they are. So yeah. So hopefully this helped. If it did, go ahead and share the video because other people might want need the same help as you. Um, if you think this is a helpful video, then please leave a like. If there's any uh, bit of equipment or merchandise that you think I should do a review and sort of a, a hookup, I guess uh, leave that in the comments below. So like if you guys think, hey, show me how to connect a graphics card to a computer, I'll go ahead and I'll do that, things like that. So if you guys want to, leave suggestions down below. And uh, right after this one, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect these, these uh, earbuds to an Android device, which basically it's almost the same process, but there are some small differences. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'll see you guys in that, that video.